Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the cooler things that you may have missed when playing your favourite games, with the only rule being they cannot have been featured on my channel before. In today's video, we experienced Deja Vu in Cyberpunk 2077, we learned why you should never pause Zombie Army 4 Dead War, and we take a closer look at the M416 in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. As always, if you think you know of a detail that I'm yet to cover, then the best place to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts. The links, as always, are in the description. Oh, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So let's begin with the excellent Portal. The funny thing about Portal is that when it released as part of the orange box back in 2007, people weren't really prepared for just how good it was. 14 years later and Portal is a certified classic. Now, with Portal being a puzzle game, developers have to try and make sure the player isn't able to trap themselves in a room or otherwise quote unquote break the game. Well, developers can try, but they aren't always successful. For example, in Chamber 5, it is possible to break the puzzle, causing GLaDOS to say this. You're not a good person. You know that, right? So GLaDOS will say that you aren't a good person before begrudgingly opening the door so that you can progress. Chamber 5 isn't the only time you can break a puzzle in Portal. In Chamber 13, you can once again leave yourself with no escape, causing GLaDOS to say this. Despite the best efforts of the Enrichment Center staff to ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, you have managed to ensnare yourself permanently inside this room. A complimentary escape hatch will open in 3, 2, 1. So what's kind of funny is, to trap yourself in one of these rooms takes some serious effort. More effort than solving the actual puzzle. But Valve still thought to add lines of dialogue for players determined to break the game. So my regular viewers will be well aware of my dreadful skills when it comes to using a mouse and keyboard to play FPS games. Perhaps that's why PUBG is so underrepresented on this channel. Not because the game doesn't have some cool details, because it definitely does, but because I'm just really rubbish at the game. However, for the benefit of you, my wonderful subscribers, please like the video. I braved the world of PUBG on PC to bring you a pretty funny detail. Now, the chances are that you haven't spent much time looking at the guns in PUBG. Usually, you pick one up and be on your way. Well, on the M416, you're able to select the gun's rate of fire. Now, these aren't labelled as you'd expect. So, full auto is marked as pew pew pew, single fire is pew, and to turn on the gun's safety, simply select no pew. Does anyone know if the real life M416 actually has this written on it? Surely not. Let me know in the comments. Up next is Cyberpunk 2077. And if I'm honest, I'm not sure if I should class this as an Easter egg or a detail. So I'll let you guys decide. During the later part of the game, you can head to the top of a building. I know that's kind of vague, but I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Anyway, as you climb the stairs of the building, you can see this. So when we first approached the stairs, we saw a cat, and on the very next set of stairs, we saw the same cat. It's pretty strange, right? Well, in The Matrix, Neo sees something very similar. Oh, déjà vu. I mean, it's almost certainly a reference to The Matrix, which of course starred Keanu Reeves, who is also in Cyberpunk 2077. But, and this is a massive but, it may not be a reference and just be something cool that you may have missed. Let me know what you think, but either way, it's a nice touch. So ever since the PlayStation 4, Sony has had a speaker built into its controller. This often overlooked feature was rarely used by developers in a meaningful way. Well, there is one game that uses the 
the controller's speaker to perfection. In Zombie Army 4 Dead War, if you pause the game, you can hear things like this. So I'm pretty sure I don't need to explain how creepy this is. You're alone in a dark room at night. You pause the game, you check your phone and you start hearing those voices. Now I don't know about you, but I'm leaving the house immediately. Now over the last couple of years, photo modes have become commonplace in video games. A big proponent of the photo mode is Sony, with most, if not all of their first party games, including the feature. Now I know what you're thinking, what kind of detail can you show us in a game's photo mode? But it turns out that the photo mode in Spider-Man Miles Morales can detect a bad guy before they even become a bad guy. During the later part of Miles' journey, you come across Peter Parker and Dr. Otto Octavius. Now, of course, anyone who has paid attention over the last few years will know that Otto Octavius goes on to become Dr. Octopus, one of Spider-Man's biggest enemies. Now, in photo mode, you have the option to turn off enemy visibility to help you capture the perfect shot. Well, turning off the enemy visibility will make Dr. Octavius disappear. Now, of course, at this point, Octavius is yet to become Dr. Octopus, which leads me to believe that the photo Photo mode can see into the future. Next up is Natural Selection 2. Natural Selection 2 is a mixture of first person shooter and real time strategy. Releasing in 2012 to good reviews, it's a pretty unique take on what is obviously a normally crowded genre. Now, the detail of interest from Natural Selection 2 can actually be found in the Marines tutorial, where shortly after beginning, you'll be told to head to the cafeteria. Well, if you ignore these instructions and simply throw yourself off the map, you can hear this. To support you. Proceed to waypoint. Sorry, you're not getting away that easily. Stop it. Cut it out. Are you really that desperate to get out of doing the tutorial? With all the time you've wasted, you could have just done the darn thing by now. If you keep trying to kill yourself, we won't let you play in S3. I'm warning you. Alright, that's it. We've made note of your Steam ID and we're not letting you play in S3. Ever. It's a shame, too. Hypothetically speaking, if there were an NS3 and we were already heavily into development on it, it would be looking pretty amazing. All the new alien life forms are incredible, and all the new marine weapons are amazing. Uh, we've even added in a third playable team. Uh, hypothetically speaking, of course. Too bad you won't ever be able to see it. Yep, too bad. Why are you still doing this? Why? Seriously, the novelty of this is wearing off real fast. Are you really that bored? What is it you want, exactly? If I give you an achievement, will you go away? There. There's your damned achievement. Leave me alone. Seriously, that's all there is here. You can stop now. Alright, I, um... I won't keep you. Uh, bye, I guess. I love it when devs do things like this. It's like they can anticipate us trying to break their games. Oh, and the guy wasn't lying. You do get this achievement as a reward. So let's end today's video with what is probably the most detailed game ever. Now, the first detail from Red Dead Redemption 2 makes sense, but you just don't expect a video game to work like that. Now, you'll probably all know that when you kill an enemy, you can loot their corpse. It's pretty standard stuff. 
Well, if you, for whatever reason, decide to burn the corpse, you will now be unable to loot said corpse as the loot has been burned. I don't know why I love this so much, but when video games use real world logic like this, I just find it really impressive. Speaking of real world logic, if I told you there was a place where tons of toxic waste was dumped, would you choose the fish there? Well, unless you're looking for the three-eyed fish from The Simpsons, probably not. Well, the pond found at St. Denis is located right next to pollution spewing factories, meaning the water probably isn't safe to drink, bath in, or well, just don't touch the water. To highlight just how polluted the pond is, if you fish in the pond, this will happen. You ain't for eating, are you? So the fish not only looks unhealthy, but it is even labeled as a poisoned lake sturgeon. Please, Rockstar, make another game. Please. So that's it. As mentioned, if you know of any Easter egg secrets or details that I'm yet to cover, then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Remember, if you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.